Hello guys, today we are making a plane model produced by Revel 132 scale. This is an early version of BF Messerschmitt 109 G9. Hope you enjoy it. In this video, I'll share tips and tricks and almost all the details. Let's start. This is an old model. 2013 and doesn't have too much detail however I will try my best as always. We are using green Tamiya cement for the small parts. Let's start painting. First we are applying aluminum because we are going to do some chipping after that. Now, after the paint dries, we are painting for lightning. I'm leaving some touches to the places that I think there would be some awareness. We are preparing the belts using copper wire and masking tape. The original belt was not complete, so I had to produce the rest. Some details in cockpit. Now we can build up the main body. I had to use some putty to the sealment segments between the cockpit outer shell and surface layer and some sanding. In the instructions you have to level this bulge to the surface. This piece doesn't fit perfectly as always as expected. We are going to sand the excess part away. Now, almost perfect. There has to be lanes on the ridge and some other parts, so I'm using a special type to guide me. Rivets are missing and before opening rivets, I drove a guideline for myself. I follow the line slowly. I've done riveting before I assemble the wings. On the surface, I made some sanding to vanish the sharp dots. On 
onto the inner wing surface and the tire grooves I applied some paint with grey. Now we are assembling the wings. We are applying for the small part white glue because later we will take that out. I will paint either surface with different colors. Here is a nice trick, taping first horizontally and then vertically to get away from the cutting scratches this is a nice technique that can be applied in not rounded canopies of a late version and I'm using it to cover up the cockpit to seal it from the paint. We are cleaning the surface with IPA first. We are applying 1500 surfacer. One tip about the making the surface ready, first coat should be painted from a close range and it should look moist. When it dries you will get a good surface. Some shading and lighting. The action provides a vivid and not one flat color on the surface. There are some parts that uh, have to be painted white, the tips of the wings, especially the edges, and back flap, back antenna hole. We are applying the paint as always as thin layers trying to leave the shading and lightning slightly visible. First we use aluminum, the parts where we will apply chipping especially to the step in and out points. Now first we apply camo paint, then the second one.
At first I didn't use typing but in the second phase I used typing both to cover the other side and make the line sharp and distinctive. We are applying the second color. Sending away the scratches and lines on the fuel depot to attain a nice and smooth surface. Now we move on with the propeller. Applying the detail paints onto the wing parts. We should have a glare on some parts of the flaps. So I'm taping these parts with Tamiya 1mm tape and later we will apply a glare with some paint as a result. They will seem like they are reflecting more light when compared to the lower surface. Here I send focus of the paint exactly on the types. This way I would have a glare effect, not directly painting the parts that I want to highlight. In this model we will create a custom cross exactly like on the original one. However, this sign is not included in the package for several reasons. Nevertheless, this is art. First, I created the custom livery by cutting the Tamiya sticker sheet. Then, I taped it on its place. seen step by step I painted the cross. Before the application of decals we are applying Mr. Hobby clear coating first. Here we apply decal liquids. Then we fit the decals nice and firm. They should look like a paint on the surface. After mounting the decals, I give another coating to blend the edges of the decals to the surface. To highlight the lines, I use Tamiya panel line. 
I removed the excess parts with IPA. I want the plane look old and used, so I use oil paints to get this effect. I use here a flat brush. Here I am chipping the propeller and also I will add some more earth pigment to the places that I think the pilot would be stepping on. No harm to use just a little bit more pigments I guess. On the pipes we need a little rust and very look. There is some oil seep from the engine because it's a veteran plane which had seen so few enemy soldats. We are adding some dirt effect to the wheel grooves. I fix the pigments with AK Interactive Pigment Fixer. Adding some more details. After adding some more pigments on this section, I add some more details. I move on to the wheels. The wheels needed some dirt, of course. I take away the excess dirt from the outer parts with my finger. Here we apply the final coat. Since my plane is old and used, I decided to go with the Tamiya flat clear. Final layer and done. We move on with canopy details. Some chipping. While coming to the conclusion, I prepared some mix to make some dirty wash on the wing surface. I also used the mix on the fuel depot as well. Mm -hmm. 
Here we are imitating the fumes. As seen, I used three different colors to get the job done. The plane had landed on a very dirty and muddy road under extraordinary circumstances. For the calm lines, I used 0.1 mm fishing line and to make it look like more realistic, I used hypodermic needle. Finally, I fixed the canopy and the result is very satisfying for me. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up if you like the content. Remember to subscribe. See you on the next episodes.